Republicans are going to court to force a vote in the legislature on Governor Hochul's choice to head the state's top court. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer reports on the latest chapter in the fight. The nomination is lost. If Senate Judiciary Chair Brad Hoylman Siegel thought he had seen the last of Judge Hector LaSalle, well, Republicans are saying, think again. Senator Anthony Palumbo, the ranking Republican on Judiciary, filed suit in an attempt to give Governor Hochul's pick to be chief judge of the state court of appeals another bite at the apple. He wants all 63 senators to consider the nomination after the Judiciary Committee voted 10 to 9 against confirming him. Justice LaSalle is entitled to an up or down vote by the full state Senate, not as a courtesy, but because the Constitution requires it, Senator Palumbo said in a statement. The suit names the 10 Democrats on the committee who voted against LaSalle, plus Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins. Republicans were upset at the result because LaSalle, who would have been the first Latino to head the top court, was nixed because Democrats thought he was too conservative. They wanted a progressive to serve as a counterbalance to the right-leaning U.S. Supreme Court. Senator Holman Siegel lambasted him for once accepting the cross-endorsement of the conservative party, a time-honored tradition when many jurists run with multi-party lines. The Conservative Party also supports radical right Supreme Court rulings against women, immigrants, workers, the environment. So I'm extremely shocked and disappointed that you would have at any point during your career thrown your lot in with them. I make decisions based on the law and I apply the law the same to everyone. Some Democrats tried to make it seem like Governor Hochul had made a deal with the Republicans to do her bidding. But Republican sources tell CBS2 it had nothing to do with the governor. The suit seeks to challenge the constitutionality of the committee's actions. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS2 News.